Hello everybody, this is TechCut, and in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you the Apex Launcher for Android. Now what it is is a new Android launcher that allows you to customize your Android experience a little bit more than you would with stock. So there are tons of features such as a customizable home screen grid and up to nine home screens, score scroll able dock that allows up to seven icons. So I'm just going to show you the obvious ones. First of all, the scrollable dock is right here. I can do things such as add more icons just like that to my dock pages. And um, the folders are customizable. So if I, well, first of all, if I go into my menu, as you can see, there's a lot more things. There's add, wallpaper, theme settings, manage, Manage screens, Apex, system settings, lock desktop, and help. So I'm just going to manage my screens real fast. As you can see, the star indicates that that is my home screen. So I can add more of them and I can organize them through here if I wanted to and remove them through here. So I can also star this as my home screen, just like this. And then if I want to, I could go back and manage them, but I'm going to keep those as is for now. So, I can also go into my Apex settings and get a good amount of things I can change. So if I go under home screen settings, you can see I can change my portrait grid and landscape grid. So if I turn it to the side, I think, I might have to turn, if I, it's not working right now, probably because I'm connected to the screen recorder, so I'll just ignore that feature. But what that allows me to do is change the size of the, well, change the amount of icons I can fit. So right now it's 4x4. Four four. I could make it so 5 icons by 5 or 5x6 five or other things like that. Also, I have the horizontal and vertical margin, which just changes the size of from the sides that content can go on. And then we have the icon size, so I can make the icons bigger or smaller. So for example, if I'm to bump it all the way up to there, go back, and my icons are going to be a lot bigger. And I could obviously make them smaller, but I'm going to go back and change that to 100. So if I go under home screen settings, icon size, I could bump that back down to 100. Click OK, and you can go back to your manage screens, which is the same exact thing you get into from this area, manage screens right there. And then you can go back into here and you can change your scrolling features. So you could change it from bounce, jump, or none. You could change your elastic scrolling and um, scroll time and transition effect. So for example, if I'm to add a transition effect and I do um, cube in, and then I use the transition as you can see it does the cube in effect so that is your transitions and if you get the premium version you're obviously going to get a lot more so I can go back to my apex settings I can go back to home screen and I can hide things, hide notification bar hide shadows, hide icon labels um, and do a lot more things if I go under the drawer settings that is um this thing, how you see all your applications. As you can see, mine is a list right now, which is something you change through that setting. So if I go back to Apex, go to my drawer settings. As you can see, I have it set to vertical list. You have vertical continuous and the other ones. And then you can hide apps. So I have all share Apex X launcher, um, just ones I don't use the regular email client. Google Plus, I never use that. Mobile ID, my account. Just things I never use, I have hidden because they're just taking up space. Transparency, I have set to 70%. If I lower that, you'll notice next time I go to it that the trends will be a little bit darker. So if I hit OK, um, I could do the animation. So I can have a scale in or out, fly in or out, fade in. Um, I'll just keep that how it is. You can change that and figure out what you want close up on launch you could change these settings right here I think those are premium options actually no you can change those if you have it I have it set to vertical so it doesn't allow me to change those yep infinite scrolling elastic scrolling some scrolling options and a whole bunch of little more things you can go and experiment with 
Then you have doc settings, so number of doc pages, icons per doc, uh, horizontal and vertical margins, as well as doc overlays, um, doc as overlay, doc background, and a whole bunch more things. So I actually never use this, so I'm going to change this back down to one. So then if I go to my home screen, there will be no more pages, and I'm actually going to get rid of the other pages on here because I like to keep everything on one centralized page so I'm going to go to manage screens and get rid of both of those just like this bam actually it's having there we go and now that's back to normal well how I had it before I started recording so if I go into apex settings that's the dock settings and now I can go to my folder settings so now I could have it either stack, fan, grid, or have it set as the iOS. So if I were to change it to iOS, go to my home screen, it looks just like it does on the Apple operating system. Well, the, yeah, Apple operating system. And I could go back to Apex settings, change it to something else, such as grid, fan, or stack. I prefer stack. And then you could have the background, so you could have it set to I iOS. So if you want to totally copy Apple, you could do that. You could also set square and rings, none, or customize it. I prefer the ring. You can change the size of the icons. You can hide the folder name and hide the labels inside of folders. Behavior settings. There's a good amount of things here. You can change the screen orientation, the home key action. I have the screen thing set as default so it doesn't go to landscape. Uh, you can set the home key or the home action key to do something. So right now I have it set to show the previews. So if I go to my home screen, it's just going to show previews of home screens. So I only have one, so I can actually change that to something more useful. So if I go back into Apex settings, I go into behavior, I go into home key action, I can change this to something a little bit better such as show app drawer which would be more useful so if I hit the home screen it's gonna to go to the app drawer instead hit it again and it goes out so now I can go back into the apex settings go back into behavior there's a ton more things you could do such as long menu presses activity animation pension this is just all your little effects and shortcuts you could do and then you have your theme settings so you can set the icon pack, skin, and font to match certain themes. You could get more themes if I click there, go to Play Store. You're going to see that there are more themes for this that you can get, but I prefer the regular one. I might take a look at this jelly bean one later that looks interesting. I'm going to go back, go back to my Apex settings, and whoops, go into Apex settings, and I have advanced settings which I'm not going to really get into. You can just customize all these how you want to. Backup and restore and then there's more Apex things right here. So that's it for the settings. If I go back into my if I go back into here, I can add things such as Apex actions. So if I want to do that, there's a whole bunch of little shortcuts to things, so lock unlock. If I'm to add that and I hit that, yes desktop has been unlocked so that just makes it so I can't edit anything. You can play with those as you please. You could also add widgets and icons through that. Wallpaper, I can change my wallpaper through here. So if I go into my gallery, I can change my wallpaper using that. Um, if I go into theme settings, that's the normal theme settings. Manage applications, this is a link to the uh, settings your actual system settings to do that. Manage screens, I've already showed you that. Apex settings, system settings, lock desktop, and help. So that is really it for this launcher. It's personally my favorite one. It's simple, easy to use. Go to downloaded, there's things here. Um, you go into system settings, more options, play store, short link to there. So that is this launcher. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll have a link to this page that you can see, so you can see right here, people have also installed these themes, it has a pretty good rating, you can see screenshots and other cool things right here, 
also looks pretty good on tablets. You see reviews and a full list of their features. The Pro version has multiple configurable drawer tabs, so that means if I reopen it right here, there you can have tabs, yes, yeah, as apps and downloaded. You could have your own. You could have your own. So, for example, you could have games and a list of all your games. Um, unread count notifications, so you could have little things on your folders that has notifications, such as the iOS, and a bunch more. So, once again, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and goodbye.